So we all know that the Bulls made probably the biggest trade in this offseason, or it could be the second one, depending where you rank that one in the Chris Paul, and they traded away Jimmy Butler. So yeah, people consider that trade a big flop, but we're going to rebuild that team today. If you guys want to see more rebuildings, let's see if we just get a 1,000 likes. A 1,000 likes for more 2018 rebuilds, and then don't forget to vote in the shop. First thing in the description, the Bulls beat out the Heat. Uh, the Heat were in second, then Dallas was in third, Nets were in fourth, Knicks were in fifth. So uh, make sure you check out the straw poll on to vote which team we should do next on, let's say, Sunday. So yeah, let's get into this Bulls rebuild. I definitely want to start Chris Dunn at point guard just to get him minutes. Oh my god, this team is awful. Chris Dunn's a 70 overall. This team has so many guards. It's unbelievable. Alright, um, I would love to buy out Dwayne Wade, but I don't think it works like that in 2K, unfortunately. So we're going to give Chris Dunn starting minutes. Also, Dwayne Wade's going to be a six man. Actually, I'm going to trade away Dwayne Wade. I'm going to try to find a trade partner for him and try to send him to maybe like the Rockets or the Knicks or Cleveland so he can play with either Paul, Mel, or LeBron. Uh, I guess Denzel Valentine will be starting. Miritich is starting. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to be a rough time. Actually, no. Bobby Portis, I want starting over Miritich. Yeah. Let's give Miritich 22 minutes. Uh, Portis can get 27 and uh, Zach Levine, I want getting 35. Actually, screwed. I want Warren Marketing starting. Yeah, that's who I want starting. Uh, we're going to have Miritich and Bobby Portis come off the bench. Uh, I would like to give Jaron Grant a little bit more minutes. Uh, but let's give Marketing 27. Let's give Dwayne Wade 26. And I guess we're going to only be able to give Grant 9. But I'm going to try to find a trade partner for Dwayne Wade anyway. We're just going to throw him up with a block. And I can get Kemba Walker, but I would have to give him a first round pick. But it looks like the Hornets are actually interested. And Dwayne Wade's on the last year of his contract. Dwayne Wade for Nicholas Batum. Let's see if they would accept this. And they agreed to that. Okay, because they were the only team that was into like LeBron. But yeah, that idea went out the window. Hey, he's teamed up with that one Hornets fan back in like when they played in the Eastern Conference. I think first round like two years ago where they got into that fight. Uh, that was pretty entertaining. So uh, we have 25 minutes. So Denzel Valentine's going to get like 11 minutes a game, 10 minutes a game. Let's swap them with uh grant real quick and then let's give batum all the minutes so let's give batum what do we got him we got him we'll give him 31 that's fine with me and let's swap him there for grant okay so we have 11 minutes to spare now let's give market in 30 uh let's give miritich 26 and we can give uh grant 10 and then we can give one more to like everybody down here so this is the team this is the rotation. I'm just hoping Levine, Dunn, and Marketing can do well this year. We also got Batum and Robin Lopez. So, yeah, that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Uh, we're probably going to be really bad, but we have our pick, and it looks like the Kings pick, I think. Actually, no, we don't have the Kings pick till next year or something like that. So, power rankings. Yeah, they have us at pick. Uh, the 12th best team. Actually, we might make the playoffs. We'll see. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I hope we don't make the playoffs, but we might. Let's pick wins the MVP. Markel Fultz wins rookie of the year. Jeremy Lin, sixth man of the year. Uh, Andre Drummond, Defensive Player of the Year, Nicole Jokic, Most Approved, and Coach of the Year is Dwayne Casey. On the first team is Westbrook, Harden, James, Giannis, Cousins. On the second team, we got Chris, uh, Curry, Chris Paul, Davis, Durant, Jokic. On the third team, we got John Wall, Lowry, Paul George, Leonard, and Towns. I don't see any balls at all. Uh, Dwayne Wade really made all defensive second team. Wow. Okay, well, Dwayne Wade got that award. And, yeah, so that might be the only balls. <laughs> Markin didn't even make an all rookie team. Jesus, he might be a bust. He might be a bust. But we did not make the playoffs. We have a lottery pick, is what I'm happy about. I'd rather just get a lottery pick. Uh, we're probably not going to get very lucky in the lottery, but who cares? Uh, Zach Levine had a good season. Career high in points, career high in assists, career high in rebounds, career high in steals, career low in blocks, career high in field goal percentage, career high in threes, career high in free throws. So he actually had like a career year here in Chicago. I don't know why he went down in overall. Nicole Mirotic, 13.8 points, 5.8 boards, 4.8 defensive boards, okay. Uh, Markinen actually wasn't awful. I could see him being like a 6th or 7th man. I doubt he could be a starter for us to win a championship. But Toom was alright. I might find a trade for him on draft night. Same with Robin Lopez. And yeah, let's get into these playoffs. I'm going to predict a uh, a Bucks rockets finals. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I'm right. I'm probably not going to be right, but we'll see. So... Uh, nope, the Rockets lose to the Timberwolves. I was right on the Bucks part. Should have said Bucks Warriors as Curry and the Warriors swept the uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo Bucks. And let's get here into this offseason where we can actually finally rebuild this team and try to bring winning back to Chicago, which it hasn't really done since, uh, like, actually winning championships since Jordan. But obviously, we know, like, the Derrick Rose era ended, unfortunately, with him and his injuries, and they never really went... Uh, finish with their full potential there. So, Jeff Lottery, I doubt we get lucky. We are projected what? Um, where are we projected? Nine. 
If the Kings pick falls at top 10, we would get it, which it's not gonna. So we end up with pick nine. Okay. So we have the number nine pick. I'm gonna try to trade up. Uh, Fred Hoiberg is gone. Thank God. So we're gonna get Steve Kerr. He just won an NBA Finals. We're gonna fire our assistant coach. We're gonna just clear house here. We're gonna get and do that. And honestly, we have the same trainer with Derek Rose is here. So we're gonna like let him go. And we're not gonna get Steve Kerr. It looks like he's got 14 offers. Really? Uh, we get Steve Kerr. Okay. And the trainer does not want to come here, apparently. Uh, that's fine. We'll take this trainer. And we get William Goodrich. Okay, that trainer declined us. Do we get the trainer? Come on, just, it's a trainer. Injuries aren't even on. No. Oh, my God. Everyone wants to talk to our assistant GM. Obviously, he's a beast, so we're not going to let people look at him. Owen oh, Masters. He's probably a master of the game. Ah, great joke there. So, let's get here to the NBA draft. Well, we're going to throw up Batum and the number nine pick. See if anybody offers, like, set. Ooh. Ooh. Pick five and the Sixers pick next year. That's a great trade for us. Yes, please. Thank you, Philly. Thank you. I appreciate it. Trust the freaking process. Damn right. The process is now going to be in Chicago. Okay. So just an holiday. I'm not going to move. I might move one of these guys. I know a lot of people do like Felicio, so I might move Robin Lopez. He's on an expiring deal. I'm not going to bring him back. Two second round picks from Philly. Nah. Uh, Gorgi Jang. First rounder from the Spurs in 2018. Hey, I'll take a first round pick for. If I can get a first round pick for Robin Lopez, hell yes, let's do it. So, first round pick and Jaron Bossome, who was a first round pick, I'm pretty sure in real life for them this year. Uh, I believe so. He might have been a second round pick. I could be wrong. So, we have the number five pick in the NBA draft. I'm looking at maybe Michael Porter or DeAndre Aiden. Uh, if I can get one of those two guys, if not, Robert Williams won't be really that bad. So I'm trying to get either Williams, Aiden, or Porter, and I'll see you guys at Ricky signs with who we end up drafting. Guys, so we're on the clock here. Let's see who's here. So Robert Williams might be the selection unless I can go to Trade Finder, put on the fifth pick. Oh my God, we have a lot of first round picks you can see, so that's gonna be nice. If a team wants to offer me, ooh, DeAndre Aiden, or can I get offered Michael Porter Jr.? And it doesn't look like I will. Did he get drafted? What? Atlanta? Atlanta doesn't want it. What about if I give you pick five and a second rounder? And would they offer me Michael Porter Jr.? Come on, Hawks. Wow, the Hawks aren't budging. What about if I give you Justin Holiday as well? He might have a start and a half trade value. Hawks, come on. No, Hawks don't want to give up Michael Porter Jr. All right, I might do Justin Holiday for DeAndre Aiden. You can keep Andrew Nicholson. So we're picking up DeAndre Aiden so we have our center for the future. So, we're done there with drafting. So, we have pretty much Zach Levine at shooting guard, Aiden at center, and I have no idea who if Markin is going to start a power forward or not, but we're going to see there. And then, we point guard, I don't even know what Chris done this year. Actually, I don't even look at his numbers. He was probably terrible. What was his numbers this year, Chris done? He had 8 points and 6.7 assists. Oh, gross. I might try to trade him. Just try to take advantage if he has any trade value still. So, team player options. I'm going to bring back everybody here. Oh, I don't want to bring back Chris Dunn. You know what? Screw you, Cameron Payne. I'm not bringing you back. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to trade Chris Dunn. And, yeah, we're going to look to trade him. So, let's see what I can get for Chris Dunn. And, honestly, Jaron Grant on the market. Just to see. Uh, I'm not going to throw any first-round picks. If I get a first-round pick, I'm going to do it. But, let's just see. I think I can definitely snag a first-round pick for these two. Ugh. Chris Dunn has a star and I have trade value. Jesus. Come on. Okay. Miami wants to offer me a first round pick. I would have to take on Kelly Olenek, though. The Lakers in 2020 and Zubach. Okay, that's the move. That is the move. I don't even need to look at any other offers because we just picked up a cheap, nice young player and a first round pick. We are loaded in first round picks, guys. Like, it's crazy how many we got. Look at that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the next two years. Seven in the next, or next three drafts, we have seven. That's nice. So, let's go to qualifying offers. Levine's a free agent. Oh, God, Amiritich. So, they're both restricted, so I'm not too worried about them. And, yeah, so, uh, let's go to free agency. Okay. So, I could go after Paul George. Paul George would definitely be interesting to add to this lineup because we do need a small forward. And we have a lot of money, right? Yeah, we have enough for two max deals. KD would also be a cool signing, but I don't know if he would want to come here to Chicago. Yeah, he looks like he wants to join LA, which is very interesting. So we can maybe snag Paul George. Uh, if I give Paul George a four-year deal, I'll give him a no-trade cause. I don't think I would trade him. And then if we could snag a point guard, like maybe a Chris Paul or an Isaiah Thomas, and we can complete the starting lineup uh, with probably marketing being the worst player in the lineup. But if we could roll with like a Chris Paul or Isaiah Thomas, Zach Levine, Paul George, and then we got Markin and DeAndre Aiden, that's pretty filthy. It looks like the Rockets are probably going to bring back Chris Paul, though. Derrick Rose reunion, yeah, not for 25 mil a year. 
And yeah, so I think we're ready to simulate a day. I'm hoping we can get Paul George. We get David Nwaba. Wow, that was uh, definitely anticlimactic. Okay, we're still George's number one offer. And we're Isaiah Thomas's number one offer. We got Kevin Durant. What? Oh my god, I thought he was gonna sign with LA. All right, screw it. We got Kevin Durant. Chris Paul signs with the Rockets. Uh, we're not gonna get Paul George. Okay, anyway, he's gonna go to the Mavs. Can we get Isaiah Thomas? Oh my god, the team is set. Paul George goes to the Mavs. And wow, okay, I'm shocked. Can we get Marcus Aldridge for cheap? That would be golden if we could have pulled that off. Um, because that would complete the starting lineup. But I don't think we're not gonna be. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to. But where did I'm trying to see? Did the Lakers get anybody, or did they? I don't know why Kevin Durant didn't sign with them. Al Jefferson went to the Lakers. Um, it looks like DeMarcus Cousins went back to the Pelicans. Brooke Lopez goes to the Knicks on a big deal. Paul George went to the Mavericks. Chris Paul went back to the Rockets. Rondo goes to the Bucks. Rudy Gay goes to the Pacers. We get Kevin Durant some freaking how. I don't know. And then these are a bunch of re-signings. So, I could offer Levine, like, the max and see if we can get, uh, Chris Paul for, or I made, uh, Marcus Aldridge on the mid-level exception. You know what? I might try that. See if Zach Levine wants to accept that deal. Zach Levine, you're getting a max deal. Okay, he accepts it. Is Marcus Aldridge here still? He is. No! Well, Marcus, oh, screw you. All right, I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what the rotation is going to look like. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure Jabari Parker is from Chicago. I could be wrong, but I think he is. So I'm going to try to trade our pick next year and Nikola Miritich. Our pick is two and a half stars, and I know we're making the playoffs. And we're going to try to... Miritich has a no trade cost. Screw it. I'm, I'm Okay, I'm taking it off Miritich. I don't care. I'm trading you. You have no right. You're going to, you're going to Milwaukee, dude. I don't care. You and your nice beard... And your cool shooting sleeve. It's going to it's going to Milwaukee. So let's let's just do this. Now let's go to proposed trade. Let's go not DeAndre Aiden. Okay, Miritich. And let's go our pick next year for Jabari Parker. They don't want to do that. Okay. And I'm willing to throw in. We have a lot of first. This Lakers top three protected. Okay. And one more. I'll throw in my 2021 Bulls. If they don't do this, I'm not doing the trade. Okay, we pick up Jabari Parker, and our team is complete. So, our point guard is Isaiah Thomas. We have Levine. We have Durant. We have Jabari. We have Markinen. We have... Ugh, this team is good. All right, guys. So, let's see what the rotation is going to look like when I just auto-do it. This is perfect. Thomas, Levine, Durant, Jabari, DeAndre Aiden. Then we got Markinen, Zubach, Portis. Okay, I got to trade, I think, Felicio, right? Yeah, we're going to trade Felicio. We need a backup guard off the bench. So, what could I get for Felicio and my Denzel Valentine? If I could take any point guard or shooting guard, I would love Richard Holmes, but I can't do it. I might... Uh, Alec Burks? Not bad. I would like a point guard and we can get Chris Dunn and Jaron Grant back. No, thank you. Corey Joseph. Okay, Corey Joseph from the Pacers. He's only making 8 mil. He's on an expiring deal. That's actually... I'm saving up money because I'm giving away Felicio's $10 million contract. So... We're going to give him 10 minutes a game, maybe a little bit more, and we're going to throw him into the lineup. Yeah, we're going to give him 12 minutes a game. He's going to be the ninth man in the rotation. This team is set. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and I think we can win a championship, honestly. First scoring option, KD. Second will be, I guess, Isaiah Thomas. Third will make it Zach Levine, because why not? Our preseason power ranking has us at... Three, two, and three. We can win a championship. Let's go do this. LeBron James wins what would be the 2000, I think, 19 MVP award. Michael Porter Jr. wins Rookie of the Year. See, I want to pick him up from the Hawks. He wins Rookie of the Year. Jeremy wins Sixth Man of the Year for a new team. Okay, look at him. He's turning into the new age like Jamal Crawford and Rue Williams. Our Jared Smith. Andre Jumma Defensive Player of the Year once again. Okay. Uh, Frank Neal Aquino, most improved. He usually wins these. And Tyron Moe gets Coach of the Year. We... They won 69 games, the Cavs. That actually scares me a lot. I didn't think they were going to do that good. Uh, Kevin Durant led us to a 63-win season. So, we had that going for us. And Embiid's on the Lakers. What? He's on the same team as Lonzo. Oh, my God. Lavar has something to say, probably. DeAndre Aiden, all rookie first team. 10 points, 9 boards, 1.2 assists, 1.7 blocks. 46 from the field. Okay, not bad for him. So... Let's see what we're looking at. So standings wise, 63 and 19, we were the two seed in the Eastern Conference, taking on the Charlotte Hornets, who don't have Dwayne Wade anymore, it looks like. Uh, they do not. I don't even know what team Dwayne Wade's on. They have Cristiano Felicio, though. Kemba, Curry, Kid Go Chris, uh, DMJ, or I don't know what people what, what his nickname is. I think it's DMJ or DMC. I don't know. Uh Frank Kaminsky, Moik Monk, Dwight Howard, Jeremy Lamb. Not a bad team, but I think we should get the better and uh the better edge of them. Uh Tim Wolves, 60 wins, stats. Kevin Durant, 23 points, 8.4 boards, 7 assists. Isaiah Thomas, 22 points, 8 assists. 
Zach Levine, 16 points, 4 assists. Jabari, 15 points, 6 points, 8 boards, 4.4 assists. So we had a very, we probably were the highest assisting team in the league, it looks like. Uh, Marketed 9.9 9 off the bench. Aiden, we saw his numbers. And yeah, so I do want to actually check that out if we just somehow were like the best passing team in the league. I think you can look at assists per game. Um, There it is. We were number three behind the Cavs and the Suns. Okay, we're probably going to get waxed by the Cavs when we face them. But that's, we have to wait for that till the Eastern Conference Finals. So round one against the Hornets. We win in six. Cool. Taking on the Bucks, the reigning Eastern Conference champions in round two. Uh, they don't have Jabari Parker anymore, which we have, so we should beat them. We beat them at five, taking on the Cavs, who have added, it looks like, Mason Plumlee somehow. How? How does that even happen? On one mil a year? Okay. Oh, God. 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 How does Melo sign with this team for a million a year? Oh, God. Oh, God. Melo decides to join the Cavs for a one-year, $1 million deal, and I think we're screwed. They win by five in game one. Game two. They win. We tie. Come on, can we tie it up two two? Let's go. Okay, big one there. We're up three to two. Okay, come on, let's close it out. I'll hop in if it's close. I'll hop in if it's close. But I'm, oh my god, there we go. We are going to the NBA Finals. We upset the Cavs. LeBron or versus KD, Isaiah Thomas versus Kyrie, Jabari versus Love, and then Levine I guess versus Melo, and we take it home. Let's go. We win in six. Now we're taking on the Timberwolves, who are the reigning... Well, they went into the Western Conference Finals last year. I think they've lost to the Warriors. They finally beat the Warriors. So it's Jimmy Butler. Actually, it's the reunion. Tom Thibodeau and Jimmy Butler versus Zach Levine and Laurie Markkinen or Larry Markkinen. It will be interesting. Game one, we win by five points. Okay. Great game by Isaiah Thomas. Good game by KD. Game two. We lose. Not very good. We lose by 22 points. Okay. Uh, game three. We lose two to one. Game four... Oh, God. No, we're down 3-1. to one. Are we going to... No, we're going to lose. Oh, God. Okay, we lose in five. And the, and the Timberwolves beat us. Jimmy Baller finally gets a ring. And he's the finals MVP. All right, we got another offseason to just look at things and just have to beat the Timberwolves next year. But, damn. Okay, that actually shocked me a lot. We have a lot of first-round picks this year. I don't know if it's going to land us anything nice. Uh, we're projected number 14 from Dallas. And the Kings pick actually did well. The Kings made the playoffs. Get out of here. They got the 16th pick. We have 16, 14, and that's it. And I think I'm going to be trading those picks to maybe get a better player. I don't know. We'll, we'll try to figure out something. So let's see what we want to do here. Um, I want to make a trade. Oh, we have Jarrell Martin. What can I get for Jarrell Martin? Pick 14 and 16. Could I get a good player? I can get two first on picks from the Pistons that have good value. I don't want pick 12. Can I get like a future first instead? Uh, give me this pick. Um, they want a second rounder, and they'll throw me Mike Zagawa. You can keep Mike Zagawa. Okay. So now we have more first round picks if we ever want to trade them, which I might do if we don't really want to roll with Zach Levine as much, but I think we were gonna. So we're gonna advance past their team player options. Marketing, we're gonna bring back. Uh, I'll bring back Blossom A and Zipser just as bench spots. All right. If there's anybody like Marcus Hall wants to come here in a middle level exception, I'm down for that. I think we only have one big free agent, and that's Jabari Parker, because we locked up Zach Levine last year. So let's give Jabari Parker a nice five-year deal. I don't think he's restricted. He's unrestricted, so I'm just praying he comes back to here in Chicago, where I'm pretty sure he grew up. I could be wrong. Uh, Bobby Portis might be gone. Actually, was he restricted? He might have been. So free agency time, Marcus Saul. Okay, here we go. We found our center. DeAndre Aiden is going to come off the bench. It's going to be lit, and we should win a championship. So let's sign Marcus Saul now. There we go. Um, is there anybody else? Zach, I um, at Kevin Love wants big money. Mello? Can we get Mello and Marcus Saul? Like, that would be cool. First, let me see if I can get Marcus Saul, then I'll go after Mello. So, after day one, we get Marcus Saul. Beautiful. Can we get Mello for cheap? No, now Mello wants a lot of money because he realized we can't offer him the cheap. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. So, let me just make sure we get Parker, we get Portis, we get Joseph. Maybe we'll get Mello or something. Okay, wait, we get Parker, we get Joseph. Dope. And we're not going to be able to sign Melo unless he, I think, makes it out of free agency. But we'll see. So I'll see you guys at the start of next season with what this God Squad team is going to look like. Okay, right, guys. So we're here at the start of this season. Let's just see what the CPU wants to do. And I also want to see if Melo made it out. No, he did not. He got signed by... Let's see what team he signed with. I actually didn't catch it. He signed with probably on, like, the last day. Actually, it wasn't the last day, was it? Um, Willie Reed signed. Okay, where did Melo go? Carmelo Anthony. Well, there's Chris Dunn. He got six mil from the Sixers. Okay. Uh, Spurs on Rodney Hood. Hornets brought back. Oh, he signed a three-year, 22 mil a year from the Jazz. Okay, that's a lot of money for Melo. So, 
Let's just see what happens. Uh, this is the team. Zach Levine is still an 80. That sucks. Okay, so we're going to start Parker. We're going to start Gasol. And I think we're good here. So, yeah. Corey Joseph's going to get 9 minutes a game. Portis will get 13. We're going to give 20 to Markinen. We're going to give 25 to Aiden. 31 to Gasol. 32 to Parker. Uh, let's give 32 to Levine. Let's give 35 to Thomas. Let's actually give a little bit more to Parker. And we'll give more to Markinen. So this is the team. Let's go in a championship. I think it's going to do it. We have an 89. We have three star, like all-stars in Gasol, Durant, and Isaiah Thomas. Then we have nice pieces like Zach Levine, Jabari Parker, who are both 24. And then we have Aiden, Markinen, Portis, and Corey Joseph off the bench. So that's going to be for me now. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We are number two, number one, and number two, just behind the Cavs. Ugh, that's going to be tough. But I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can win a championship. Okay, so we ended the season 68 and 14. We did really well. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to RJ Barrett of the Heat. Maybe the next Dwayne Wade there. Jeremy Wynn, Jesus Christ. This guy is the new by Jarris Smith, Jamal Crawford. He's winning six men of the year award every year. And we get coach of the year. Let's go. KD, on be a first team, on be a second team. We don't get any, nobody else won an award. Okay, it was only KD on all be a first team, and that was it. So we get the one seed, best record in the NBA. Nine games better than the uh, Warriors, who were number two. But we obviously have Kevin Durant from them. We are taking on who in the first round? Charlotte again. Okay, should be a fairly easy win. These are the stats. If you guys want to see, we had six to or Six double-digit scores. Uh, I'm very happy with what this team did this year. And I'm ready to get into these pipes. Why did Cameron Payne get minutes? Played one game. He had four points. Okay. So, we should be good. Let's get into these playoffs. I'm going to simulate round one. No problem. Round two. No problem. Round three. No problem. Let's go. Come on. No one's stopping us. No one's stopping us. No. What is Atlanta? What? Get out of here. Why is Dennis Schroeder and Michael Porter Jr. going off on us? Were they up 3-0? What? Game 1, we lost by 1. Game 2, we lost by 2. Oh my god, they're getting lucky. Game 3, they did blow us out. Wow, they were up 3-0 on us. Can they please blow a 3-0 lead? Come on, in Chicago, at home, please win this. There we go. 3-2, 3-2. Let's force a Game 7, and we'll look at things there. Come on, force a Game 7 against Atlanta. Please, it's on the road, I know. Come on, come on, come on. No, what are we doing? 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 What are we freaking doing? Ah, <sighs> battle of an eighth and a seventeenth in the NBA Finals. All right, I'm not giving up. I'll see you guys just at the end of next season. Um, I'll do one more year, but it will be the last. And I'm scared, but I'm hoping we can win a championship. All right, guys, Kevin Durant wins MVP again, and we get Coach of the Year, and that's pretty much it. And uh, the rookie was Brian Valentine. I think he was auto generated. So. Kevin Durant wins all NBA first team, and that was it. Okay, I'm just trying to get through these. Somebody made all defensive second team. We got the one seed. That's all I care about. Taking on the Bucks in round one. I want the Hawks. I want to play the Hawks. I want revenge on them. We won 64 games. These are the stats. You can pause if you want to see them. Let's just get into these fights. Also, I signed George Hill in the mid-level exception, and he is just pretty much replacing, uh, what's his name? Uh, why is this the lineup? Uh, we're not making this the lineup. He was replacing Corey Joseph. So, hold on a second. I don't know why they did this at the for the playoffs. Let me just go like this real quick. Uh, let's give Jarbari Parker 32. Let's give Vassal 31. Let's give Alvin 30. 38 to KD. 35. Or 36 to Isaiah Thomas. And, yeah, that's fine. So, let's get into this pl the, this playoff run. So, round one, it gets the Bucks. This is the last season. Uh, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Hawks, can we get revenge on them? Please don't tell me they beat us. Thank you. We beat them in five. Wizards, come on. Beat them. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Are we cursed? Is Chicago cursed, guys? Is Chicago freaking cursed? You're going to look at this. All right. Look at this Wizards team. They have an 89 John Wall and 87 Beal. They have the rookie of the year. And Otto Pointer. How is that better than this team? How is that better than this team? We have 780 overalls. Seven. Damn. Well, that's going to be it for me, guys. 2K decides you can go, screw you. I think this is the second 2018 rebuild in a row that I haven't won. I didn't win in the Kings. I didn't win in this one. That is not the streak I want. Not the streak I want at all. Um, Yeah, so that's going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to vote in the show poll on which team we should do next. I think I'm probably going to just heavily footed with Eastern Conference teams. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I apologize I didn't win. I'm kind of shocked right now that we didn't win last year. We didn't beat the 7th seed Hawks, and then we lose to the Wizards. 
But what are you gonna do? Did we see who win who won it all? I guess uh yeah we did. Okay, so that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes for more of these twenty eighteen rebuilds if you guys enjoy them. Also, if you're not familiar with that on my second channel, I am starting a new realistic series today. Um I don't know if it's gonna be up by the time you're seeing this. It might, it might not, but it's just going up today. And um also I have like I did a Nyx realistic thing, I did an expansion, which I I'm still finishing, but I'm starting a new one today with twenty eighteen roster. So go check that out. That link is in the description as well. So that's gonna be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.